this is Home Inspector ND. In this video, we address a question from new homeowners of older built houses in Canada. How do I fix the problem with two pronged receptacles in my house? Ungrounded receptacles are a safety issue. One reason is that if the hot water contacts the metal box, it becomes a shock hazard. Also, many appliances or electrical devices use a three pronged plug, so a two pronged receptacle becomes useless. There are several things you should not do. One, do not just replace a two prong receptacle with a regular three prong receptacle without the ground wire and then attach a wire from the neutral to the ground. This is otherwise known as a fake ground. You have no protection while giving you the false pretense of protection. Unfortunately, most home inspectors cannot catch this because standard electrical testers do not test for this condition. Number two, never use one of these cheetah plugs. They are not allowed and don't provide a proper ground for safety. And number three, don't cut off the ground from the plug. I know this sounds stupid, but people have done all of these things. There are solutions. If there's an older house with knob and two wire and many two prong receptacles, one option is to run new electrical wires with ground to new receptacles. We advise you get an electrician to evaluate your situation. An alternative, a proved and low cost solution is to change the old two problem non ground in type receptacles with a ground fault receptacle. These receptacles are normally used in your kitchen and bathrooms. Equipment ground is not needed for a GFCI receptacle to function properly. That is why we can use it to replace a two problem receptacle. Even with no actual ground wire going back to the electrical panel for protection, the GFCI receptacle will provide needed ground fault protection where there was none before. The power will shut off when it exceeds a 5 milliamp difference in the circuit. Also, you do have the option to use either a GFCI breaker in the panel or a GFCI receptacle. An additional benefit is that you can add more regular three prong receptacles to the first GFCI receptacle, and they will also be protected. So it's useful for rooms with multiple two prong receptacles. When replacing a two prong receptacle with a GFCI, you need to label the GFCI receptacle with the tag, no equipment ground on the faceplate. You must indicate that this is a receptacle that has no actual ground to the panel. Now, as we have stated, you can use regular three prong receptacles downstream from a GFCI and those will also be protected. But now you must label these with both GFCI protected and no equipment ground. Finally, it is standard practice for home inspectors to report the existence of older two prong receptacles in homes. Thank you for watching our video on providing a solution to the problem of having only two prong outlets in older homes. If you find the information here useful, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up and think about us for your next home inspection. Hey, if you are interested in more videos on a similar topic or other useful info for the first time home buyer, keep on watching with these videos.